Hello, everybody. Greetings from the dank basement. I am your vicious Uncle Squinty. How you doing? Well, today I am very happy to be presenting another one of the great Rosinski artisan snuffs. So this is the Ucker marker. I have no idea what Ucker marker means in German. If I am not on camera, please uh, uh, respond below, post a comment. I recently got a comment saying just video sucks and yeah I agree it might cuz I don't see and I don't know where the hell I am on camera but uh, we'll figure it out. The important thing is that you listen to all this fabulous information I have about the Ucker marker snuff from Rosinski. This is a dark colored snuff, quite dark colored. It is a plain tobacco snuff. It is called moderately easy to sniff. It is of moderate moisture and medium grind. And I believe it is supposed to be a smoky snuff. Now, I don't know what makes it smoky, but let's find out. In the jar, this is the 10 gram jar, $8.39 American from MrSnuff.com. But when you add approximately 50% of the cost for shipping, it gets to be kind of expensive on a per gram basis, about $1.50 a gram maybe. So it isn't cheap. Is it worth it? Well, we're going to find out. And this is not the Euchre marker. Yeah, it is. I'm sorry. I just got confused there for a second. use my spoon because of course we don't want to uh, contaminate artisan snuffs. Let's give it a shot. I'm going to boxcar this. It's almost meaty smelling. First thing I think about when I sm sniff this right away it's like a ham sandwich on toast <laughs> no cheese no onions and i got snuff all over me oh the official snuff monkey i don't know what that that's my cat's toy it's rudy's i don't know where rudy went Yeah, it, the overwhelming sense I get from this is smoked pork or smoked meat of some kind, ham, bacon. Uh, it's really good, guys. Now, just on first sniff, the nicotine is eh, kind of medium. On a scale of 1 to 10 where 1 is no nicotine at all and 10 is call 911 because you're having a heart attack, this is going to rate a four or a five. This isn't a nicotine kicker by any means, but it is very, very good. Smoky, yes, but there's something else here. You get a grain or cereal scented base tobacco. It is smoky, but smoky in the sense of cured meat. Slightly salty. Um, back drip is not unpleasant at all very nice now as I said this is expensive and when you include the cost of shipping you're looking at a dollar forty five a dollar fifty per gram which is fairly high and again I have to include the cost of shipping because you know living in the United States mr. snuff snuff store snuff.me.co.uk we're kind of limited here and being able to acquire these snuffs and of course shipping from Europe to the US is quite expensive. I'm going to do another pinch of this or a spoonful rather. I'm just using a pipe tool as a snuff spoon. I have no idea where any of my good snuff spoons have gone. They're all scattered around the dank basement somewhere here. Let's do another big, and you can do big pinches of this, by the way. It's not bad at all. Let's give it a shot.
That's quite lovely. Uh, on the squinty scale, where one is disgusting, like Wilson's chili chocolate, for example, and five is deliscus, including the cost, the incredible complexity of this smoky, good aroma, ease of sniffing. I've got to give this a five, guys. Yet another five out of five from Mr. Rosinski in Frankfurt, Germany. From the dank basement, I am Paul, your Squunkle Winky, and I appreciate the views. And you can thumbs up if you want, and you can like me, and you can tell your friends, and send me money, and you know.